we recently shared a rejected hero section that many of you liked on Twitter. So today, let's dive deep into what exactly happened. Along the way, we will share our process and the challenges that we faced while completing the project Flutorch. We kick things off with a mood board, dragging and dropping images from Pinterest, Cosmos, Savit, and from some of our favorite platforms. We explored two big directions. First, showing how Flowtorch helps find the best AI model for the use case. We quickly sketched something rough to get the idea across and it looked promising. Secondly, the dashboard walkthrough. A visual story of a user entering a query, getting processed, and then seeing the output. Really how Flowtorch works under the hood. But things don't always go our way. Despite liking us the first concept, it didn't make the cut. The client chose the second direction. Why? Because it nailed clarity. It showed exactly what Flowtorch does without any guesswork. Since we have already invested time in the first piece, we decided to push the concept to one even further with Rive. Animating parameters, tweaking timing, it's basically teaching our design how to perform. Suddenly, a static design transforms into an interactive little showpiece. We posted about it on X and many of you liked it. Meanwhile, the hero animation kept evolving. We polished flows, refined visuals, and built the story into a full experience. For the second concept, we relied heavily on Blender, the playground where all those 3D models came alive. Sure, it starts with moving cubes around, but trust me guys, those cubes evolve into something way cooler. And after countless hours and revisions, we finally pushed it for rendering, and finally, here it is, smooth functional and showing off exactly what Flowtorch is all about. So what have we learned? Every concept has a purpose, even the one that don't make the cut. Because if nothing else, you can end up creating something that you are really proud of.